Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to do a video on my shaved in. I know uh, several people have asked and I've kind of been putting it off a little bit, but I'll just give you a quick tour of my collection. Come on, come with me and I'll give you a little show. So here is my shave shelf or shave cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Let's rewind time here real quickly and go back to when I made this cabinet. Uh, I just took a 1x6, ripped it down. I had a basic idea of what I wanted. And so uh, here's some of the test fits and uh, mock-up shots of when I did that. And foolishly, when I built this, I thought this cabinet was going to be all that I needed and uh, nothing more. But uh, as you can see in the following clips, it was something I outgrew quickly. And uh, I'm going to try to give you a, a little close-up or a view of what's inside. And it's kind of difficult to do with uh, one hand. <laughs> but uh, from far away, you can't really see uh, real well. Uh, but... Here's all of the razors that I decided to keep. And I'm kind of uh, one of those guys that's particular. And so uh, a lot of my razors, well, not a lot of them, but all of them are in alphabetical order. And so this uh, top shelf here is actually, um, it's got two rows of razors in there. And then uh, that was just one complete shelf kind of like this shelf, how it goes all the way back, but I ended up taking this shelf and splitting it in two so I could get a little bit of a, a layered effect there. But uh, yeah, once I went through all my new razors uh, alphabetically, um, you know, there's just a few there, some of the Blacklands, uh, the Saber and the Vector, and then getting into the DS Cosmetics, and then uh, towards the back is like the uh, home light shaving, getting into the carbs, then the Occam's razor, and then the pearl. And then uh, there's the new pearl blaze, some of the PAA razors, um, the Rex and uh, supply, and then back to the Yaki. And then I kind of ran out of room, so I started putting my uh, Gillette's and uh, the Fat Boy and the Slim, then the Black Beauty, and then going into some of the Tech Razors, uh, and then the Super Speed. And then I had put a lot of my single edge right here. Um, you know, there's a couple new razors in there as well. And then just down here on the bottom is like my uh, original Old Spice, uh, some original Skin Bracer, the uh, Barbasol, the Burma Shave, and the, the Williams. And then uh, in the back here, I have the little blade trays for the razors that have, uh, you know, the different base plates. But, yep, so that's that's that. And, and it's kind of difficult to uh, get the, all that in view. But we'll move on to my... Uh, brushes and stuff that's on my shelf and it kind of gives you a little sneak peek over here to my wife's uh, side of the bathroom we've got a jack and jill uh, bathroom but yeah so the top shelf here is just kind of some of my balms uh, that i use and uh you know i love the star jelly uh, this is a pre-shave but people also say they use it as a post-shave it's just one of those things. Uh, here's one of my uh, DIY pre-shaves along with uh, cubes. And if you guys have ever tried the Pears soap, it works really well uh, as a pre-shave. And then I've also got some of the pre-shave from Sterling. And then uh, moving on down, my wife always has her little scrubs hanging up over here on the on the door. But... Uh, Yep, so here, you know, is my Trotter collection. And uh, as you can see, there's a spot there missing for a blue 
trotter's brush or maybe a, a pearl white but uh after that in the second row i've got my favorite omega bore brush then there's the samog and then like the qed brush behind that and then there's the uh, sterling brush that i pulled the bore knot out of and put the badger brush in there and then i've got another brush that I thought it was an Omega brush, but it's some other kind of brush. Um, and then the, the very back, back row is just kind of odds and end brushes. The, there's the PAA brush that I removed the synthetic knot and put a badger one in. And then I think there's the, let's see here, the AKA uh, brush, which is a nice brush. And then behind those, Whoops, there's uh, two Yaki brushes, and then uh, the, the I forget what that other one is right off the top of my brain here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, the polar shaving brush. And this is the only one that I really have that's uh, synthetic right now. I do have that newer PAA brush that they said had a lot of backbone and well, for me, it's not a whole lot of backbone, so I'm, I'm thinking about pulling that knot or maybe gifting it. And then, so here is my Captain's Choice uh, scuttle, and then here's my blade tracker that I printed out. And uh, I got a couple blades here that are still in the two. Behind that, I have just a little uh, miniature mason jar that I throw all my used blades in. And then... Uh, I have my, there, here's my stand that I always put on my shelf above the sink. And then I think my remote to turn my phone off and on. But my Black Frog House bowl that I sometimes use. And then below that is just my um, Lancaster towels that I use. And then I don't think I showed you, but... This is the bowl that I typically rinse in and my trusty copper bowl and then a stainless bowl. Sometimes I lather in that and then sometimes I'll just have, whether it's an ice cube for my post shave or um, sometimes I'll have that as a rinsing bowl, but it just kind of gives you a little kind of shot of what you typically see behind me in my video. And I'm going to try to do the video of my soaps so this is a gun cabinet that uh i don't don't mind this stuff up here <laughs> this is a gun cabinet that i converted over into a um, shaved in so, shelf let's go ahead and open it up and kind of take a look at what we've got here um this top shelf is i i didn't really plan it out very well because there's kind of a lip uh, right here. So this has uh, four sets of the PAA uh, with the soap stacked up and the matching splashes. And then um, this one, this I, may, I was able to get four high as well here. And I've been trying to downsize because I have way too much uh, stuff for one person to actually use. And so here's all my uh, Shannon soaps. And I decided to stack soap to soap because I don't have matching splashes for all of her stuff. But um, I do have several back there that's kind of stacked up. And then uh, going into my um, master soap creations and everything's uh, pretty much stacked or uh, organized alphabetically by um manufacturer artisan but here's my uh lothar collection and i do have some uh a and e kind of back behind the lothar and then uh here's all of my sterling which i have almost uh the matching sets for those as well and these are still stacked four high uh i do need a couple that to match uh one of them is uh duke and i can't remember what the other one is off the top of my head and so here's more of my sterling and this is where somehow i either miscalculated or 
I don't know, but uh, I can only stack three high on this shelf. And uh, I have my HCNC behind that. And I don't know, there's uh, there's some, some other ones back in there that I can't remember off the top of my head. You hear my knee pop. <laughs> And then so uh, this is where I start kind of getting into my mixed uh, stuff because my barrister and man, uh, Murphy and McNeil, and then uh, here's all my crown and crane stuff, and then my uh, three, four, five soaps, and then I didn't have a whole lot of room for the splashes, so this is kind of my catch-all for uh, everything behind that and uh, some of the just uh, various other soaps. Uh, and then back in here, is, I've got a whole bunch of blades. And then the very bottom, uh, I don't know if I should show all that, but the, those are all my DE blades that I've just got a huge hoard of. And so hopefully I, there's never a shaving apocalypse. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm covered for the blades. But, yep, that's my uh, collection. And then, sorry for the shaky camera. And then up on the top is like scent oils or uh, different colognes and stuff. Uh, you know, but that's it. All right. That's my collection. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, you know, like I said before, I have downsized quite a bit on my razors and uh, some of the soaps that weren't the uh, scent that I prefer. Um, and I'm constantly kind of going through my list. I'm still wanting to downsize a little bit more. Feel free to comment below, and I will see you guys on Willie Shave Wednesday.